Hello, what's up guys? Um, Kyle and Eddie here. We've just built um, a nuclear reactor. We was going to show it in another video, but we kind of messed up everything. And we're going to have to have to redo this about three times, so... Uh, yeah. Mostly misclick some well, blocks. Here is um, an empty MFSU. I'm just going to show you what the reactor's inside is like. If you want to copy this, then feel free, like... I think... Well, this just is perfect to me, because within five minutes, this can produce a lot of energy. I'll show you that later. Um, so, I'm just going to leave this up a few seconds while you... Um, if you want to pause the video, you know, you can just copy this. Sorry about the fan, by the way, guys. It's really annoying. So, right, now what I'm going to do it's is... It's his laptop. It is evil. Yeah, my laptop is evil. If you say so. So, now I'm going to show you... Um, hang on start so if I edit start this is what happens right so after a while um, yeah so basically it starts off saying five minutes remaining yes yeah? as soon as the redstone in the back to, it's turned on by the edit start up then all this will go past and after five minutes it'll tell you that it's finished and then it will turn the reactor back off again to leave it to cool down so if I edit start up, the reason why the reactor's not going off at the minute is because I've set the redstone to, you know, power the nuclear reactor. Sorry, I cannot think of anything, guys. So it's set to power the reactor. So if I show you now, as I've showed you already, we have an empty MFSU. So I'm just going to, like... Um, like pause the video for now and then I'm going to show you what it looks like so I'm just going to start it 5 minutes remaining, starting oh, it's filling up look at how fast that's filling up so if I walk in there now So I'd say it's about one every one and a half seconds, maybe two seconds. And, uh, after five minutes, we should have plenty of power and it shouldn't be too hot, so I'm just gonna pause the video right here a minute. Oh, yeah, and guys, and we're back, so let's just check this. We've got. So at the minute, we're at heat 214. There's just. Well, I think there's about 30 seconds left, I'm not sure. As soon as it's finished, I will show you. It's looking... Looking pretty nice. So, yeah. You can have more than one car of these. You can have as many as you want. Okay. Yeah. Set up. I'm actually not sure. Like, the setup, all you have to do is just make sure there's a heat disperser leading to a coolant cell for every uranium cell you've got. So it's finished its cycle now. Its heat was 246 the last time I checked. I was checking while you guys was away if you can't tell. So 214, that means that we can set this off Provided none of the materials go up, we could make the cycle. Well, I wouldn't recommend you put it any higher than 20 minutes, just in case something goes wrong, just to be on the safe side. So, yeah, just one last time I'm going to show you my setup, which you know. So, this is the setup, if you want to quickly copy this down, I will let, I'll let you. After all, I'm sure there is other people that use this as well. It hasn't exactly drained them, I'd say. It leaves you with... 720,000 power. So, yeah. It also, um, just a quick note, like, 
if you do end up copying down the start code, you cannot open the door without like a switch until it's finished. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end the video here, so goodbye guys and peace out.